<laughs> Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I'm Derek Dassey, and we're going to be reviewing some Cotswolds gin. I wasn't even ready for that. I know. I just walked in and boom. That's what I do. That's I just got here. I'm like, <laughs> let's do this. So, I already noticed this smells pretty interesting. Did you already smell it? I have not. Oh, well, there you go. Can you smell it from there? No, but if you put wow, it. That was awesome. I can smell it. It's like. If you put it in there. It's here, like, in case people are like, what the hell is going on? Almost smoky or something. It's kind of cool. That's my bubbling brew. Uh, we have Halloween cocktails coming this month, so that's why that's getting crazy. It's like a smoky juniper. Oh, I can smell it from here. Right? It smells like, um... Juniper? I don't know what you're trying no. to think of. Cardamom? Yeah, because you already said it. Yeah, so I think I have mm. tried that. Cardamom and, um, um, seed. What's the seed? Coriander? Celery? Coriander. <laughs> It's the mother of all cilantro. Yeah. yeah. Coriander. Uh, no. Not cor. What's the other seed? Is it coriander? No. The cardamom pods. Pods, yeah. I missed that one. Thinking of. Cardamom pods okay. and, and those other things you said. Coriander. Make it, make things smell like that. Craziness. Hmm. Like herbal, eucalyptus. Yeah. I can smell it. It makes me think smoky. You get smoke out of this? Just from the smell, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm off my game. <laughs> Why? Because no, you smell smoke? So it may register as smoke. <laughs> yeah, but d yeah. I see, like, you know why? It's like the juniper kind of makes that, like, mm. piney, campfire y, like you're outside. Yeah. And then the coriander and what are the. It know, smells like carbon. you're out in the forest. Yeah. And doing forest like stuff. For me, that's like prancing so it around. It brings me in right back home. It does. It <laughs> smells <laughs> like Maine. And I was just home last weekend, too. Where so. you? Does it smell like this there? Uh, it smells better. It smells good, but can't beat the smell at home. <laughs> there you go. You you heard it here first. You can't beat the smell of home. That's pretty good. That's is it higher proof? I can see that being decent in like a gin and tonic. Non chill filter. Yeah, that was pretty good. I like hmm. it. Yeah, in a gin and tonic. 2016 yeah. gold medal winner. Uh, imported with somebody. What the hell is the ABV? You can never find it. Let me find it. Give me my ABV. Let's have a hard time. Oh. Hey, here's some tasting notes. I'm not going to look at them yet. 46. Um, 46. See? I knew it. It tastes a little bit burnier than mm. And that's coming burning. from in the, uh, the Norland glass, too. Yeah. Which so usually much, cuts the burn. It's, how much was yeah, the price? It's, 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 the price is like online. Like Master of Malt's more expensive because it's not from this country, I don't think. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's like 35 Anywhere from $30, $35, I think, in that range. Which is about what you get for everything that's not Bombay. No, right. sorry. Bombay, Tangare, and Beefeater all usually fall within 24 to closer to 30, around here. Right. So, this would probably be about where you get like a Green Hook gin. I don't even know. I, th there's other brands that are about this price competitively. Maybe Bully Boy. I don't even know that. That was. Um, in, so, it's in there, that 32 range. Pounds. This is less expensive than a Hendrix. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's got to be the yeah. 10 bucks less than Hendrix. 32 pounds in. England. 32 pounds. So that's about 40 bucks, right? 40 Probably. Bucks. Which is, I think, okay. Like, e Hendrix is, yes, everything is more e cheaper, <laughs> less cheaper expensive. You it's on my doorstop. It's <laughs> <laughs> a made, made over there, apparently. Oh, oh okay. Okay, that's a, that's a, that's a, a British thing, I guess. Um, everything's cheaper than Hendrix. Because we don't have the taxes. That's what we, mm. well, we have flicker tax, but... It's herbally, okay, herbally, um, it's got the coriander, juniper, citrus, um, I want to almost say, not lavender, maybe rosemary, like the actual green, like, while well, it's still on the stem, I guess rosemary tastes, yeah, maybe, smells huh? the same no matter what, uh, chicken wings, uh, let's, I want to see, wouldn't go good with chicken wings, no, mm -mm. let's see, taste of notes, fresh citrus, well, they all have that, uh, grapefruit, okay, I, Guess that's kind of situation. Oh, we're, coriander. We're gonna get it out of this. Sweet floral juniper, soft notes of black pepper, uh, lavender. Did I say lavender? Mm -hmm. or did I say rosemary? I get the pepper now. I think both. Yeah. So as soon as you, as soon as you yeah. mention it, it's like, oh yeah, I see that. But yeah, a lot of, uh, I mean, these aren't special properties. Like, there's tons of gins that have black pepper no, in them. But it's just um, how they use it. Like Bombay East. Yeah, it's it's well, the aviation. They're all going to be their own recipe, so some distillers like to get a little bit more pepper forward. It's some want that coriander, which I think it's is almost what got this a lot is of driving coriander. A little in here. bitter to it. Uh, I'm getting like a little bitter to it. Really, that could be grapefruit. 
coriander seed, black pepper, uh, dryness, angelica root, um, cat, uh, eucalyptus. That's see, I said eucalyptus beca- and bay leaf. Uh, because it could be the bitter, it? yeah, that's a, that's a bitter. That's like a bittering agent yeah. that, that you'd use for a cocktail bitter. Well, the the thing is, when you bring coriander into the mix, things taste like coriander, but they also taste like eucalyptus. Like the flavor of coriander in mass. Because I was when I was making my own like custom gin, like I just went crazy because I love coriander, and I was like, oh, let's add coriander. I, I only put a few seeds in there, and it was it tasted like. Somebody kicked me in the face with a Fernet bottle. Like, it's just, like, it all eucalyptus. Yeah. Like, just up in your grill. And I'm like, ah, I'm not a big fan. Um, so I cut it back and put almost none. And when you put the cardamom seeds in there with it, mm-hmm. it's just overkill. Like, it's just Well, you're also working with small yeah. quantities. And, right. and people yeah. are doing you the distillation. Not only do they spend a lot of time getting their formula right, they also work with larger batches. So they can... Right. They can dial in the proportions a little bit more accurately to scale, I think. Yeah, I think this would be pretty good in um, any type of gin kind of a bubbly drink, uh, like mm. a gin yeah, fizz totally. or yeah. gin, what's the gin and tonic? Gin tea, yeah. Because uh, it has so much herbalness that it could actually I, come out. I don't, I almost feel bad saying this is a good gin and tonic gin because that seems like a, a cop out, but mm. but I think I'd like Because everybody I'd like assumes yeah. any gin can be used in a gin and tonic. I mean, you could spice it up with other stuff in it. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be just a basic gin and tonic. I mean, no. you can, you can do well, elderflower. You can make it your own. You know? A good gin and tonic gin is a gin that you like the flavor of, so that's not necessarily yeah. a bad thing. Yeah, exactly. right. Well, the, but and I think it's a little bit strong, so like flavor wise, it's yeah. it's pretty upfront. So I think yeah. the tonic would kind of like just kind of uh, spread it out a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if I'd like that with like the in the like not the, what's the big gin cocktail the 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 yeah. su- Chicago South Side. Oh. I think that would be just too much herb, maybe. Yeah, definitely not in, a, in the mint uh, integration. Negroni. No. no. I like something a little bit less... Yeah, because we drink a lot of them. Vodka. <laughs> I, I like the vodka gin. Uh, you know, something that's not too crazy. Yeah. This is... It's It's got... It would I probably work, but I feel like it's got a lot of body to it that you probably want to make it It's the center focus rather than one of three other key big right. heavy hitters. Right, right. It's got to be central to the drink. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. 35 bucks or so. You get yourself gin. Cotswolds. Thank you, Cotswolds, for sending me this. Uh, so I'm now covered. It was a free bottle. So FTC, if you're watching, we're all good. I didn't. I didn't. I'm sure that a troll like... on the channel just waiting to get you. <laughs> They're just trying to slap me with whatever the fees would be or fines or whatever they do when you do stuff like that. I don't know. But that's it. Sidebar for more vids. Uh, if you like more reviews, question today. What what is what what of the series of things did we that we do? Do you like the best? Is it the reviews? Is it the cocktails? Is it the theme drinks? Is it the um, we did break down stupid stuff, the blind tastings, the deconstructions, the what we gotta kind a lot of, of stuff out there. revisit a lot of some of that stuff and see. I like to push it away for a while, sort of like a Disney movie, like because you people put it in the vault. I like put all, it in the vault like all the time. Yeah, <laughs> because well, oh, people get like there's a couple you, good Disney. Movies. You do like those blind tastings, and they get tons of reviews, and then they go down and down and down. The people yeah. are like, oh no, blind tasting skip. Yeah. So I I put them in the vault, and then I bring them back Got when they're ready. Sense. So what do we need to pull out of the vault? You tell me. Sidebar for more videos. I said it before, but it's too late. Now you can see the sidebar. Click on one of those. Is Doug still two. trapped in the vault? Can we take him out, or is he getting enough no, food and water? No, we can't take him out. He's got enough food and water to last, right? Yeah. yeah. Until at least December, right here, he may be around. Oh, okay. So we'll see. We'll pull him out in December. We might pull him out. <laughs> we'll teach you how to drink.